Hey everyone, Mike here, and it's time for another episode of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Uh, so in Season 7, Episode 9, Honest Apple. Uh, obviously this is probably going to have to do with Applejack, which suits me because she is my favorite, and this is the first Applejack episode we've had this season. I don't know if this is going to be like last week's where the um, audio is off. Um, if it is, we'll work with it. If not, great. Okay, let's get it in here and see what we get. Play. Oh, thank you so much for helping me with these flyers, Spike. I'm so lucky you just happened to be walking past the boutique. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, just happened to be walking past. Happened to be walking past. <laughs> Not like he was stalking you or anything. I you got here. Last stop, balloons for sale. Guitar lessons. Because I found one, I need some, and yes, I am interested. <laughs> it's a compass. Now that is something that my OC would be interested in helping out with. He is a music teacher. I remember how difficult it was to break into the fashion industry when I was starting out. That's why the winner of the contest will get to debut their line in the Carousel Boutique. Oh. So selfless. <laughs> so generous. Well, it is her I also managed to get esteemed fashion critic Hoity Toity and iconic fashion photographer Photo Finish to come to Ponyville and judge the show. And... <laughs> I haven't seen the two of them in a while. Here, who else will be a judge? Countess Coratura? Sassy Saddles? Spike? No. <laughs> the third judge for the Carousel Boutique's Couture de Future Fashion Contest is none other than Applejack! What? 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 My little boy. Well, I guess she, she will give an honest appraisal and all, but, uh,. It's usually the kind of thing you want to run by someone first. But what do I know? At least it seems like this one is not uh, messed up with the audio. So here we go! First Applejack episode of the season! Yay! Because that's how confused I am. She had to say it again because, you know, people might have forgotten since before the credits. Sure, Verity has her reasons, and once we hear them, all of this will make sense. I admit, Applejack is an unorthodox choice, but that is precisely what makes her an inspired choice. See? Now it all... She figured it'd be because she was honest. Still doesn't make any sense. Hoity Toity has expertise in fabric and stitch work. Photo Finish has an artistic eye for shapes and colors. But okay. Sometimes we designers forget about practicality. That's where you come in. Uh, I think I might be a little too practical. My closet's nothing but 20 versions of this hat. Which tells me you're a pony who knows what she likes. Besides, a judge must be honest. And you're the most honest pony there is. Ask any pony, they'll tell you. Oh, oh, let me try! Have you ever heard of Applejack? The most honest pony there is? Sure have. Is that like her title now? So, what do you say? Here she comes, the most honest, honest pony there is. I don't think I Applejack! Fashion just ain't my bag of oats. I do understand your hesitation. <laughs> Thanks, Piggy. Before you say no, <laughs> sleep on it? Sure. I guess I can do that for you. Good job, Randy. Yeah, I know, Big Mac. I was just as surprised as you all. I mean, can you imagine me judging a fashion show? No, you used to be better at this there, Apple Bloom. I do it? It sounds like fun getting to see all those pretty outfits. Well, you're the exception in our family, Sugar Cube. You know about that kind of stuff. Does she? I'd be as useful as a bird knot on a sapling tree. <laughs> Although, Rarity did say I just had to focus on practicality. She already has that. Yeah, I got a bad feeling. Stuff. Yeah, but I you can, like, turn down everything, aren't you? Come on, 
on Apple Bloom. Well, You're double. That on hat me. is not practical. Sorry. I wanted to wear a signature hat like yours, but it's making it harder to see. I think, that's I think the bow is, like is better. You don't need a fancy scarf to keep your hat on. Now you can see. Maybe we should just go with the signature bow. Wow, that is a lot better. Thanks, Applejack. Sure thing. I will admit, Apple Bloom does look adorable with that with that hat. Judge her show. I think my sensible every pony take on fashion is exactly what the pony community needs. Rarity. You're gonna like hate everything that they put out there. I'd love to be a judge. Because none of it's gonna be practical. I just knew you'd come around. I, photo finish, have arrived. Yay! Welcome back. Wonderful to see you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thank you both so much for doing this. We missed you at Miss Pomel's debut in Manhattan last week. Miss Pomel is showing? I thought she was still making costumes. You haven't heard? Every pony who is any pony is talking about it. Really? What are they talking about? Oh my, they're absolutely stunning. It sure is great to hear Is she Pomelo taking over your shop? Well. Who is this who speaks? Oh, uh, this is Applejack, another one of the judges. So, Judge, what do you think? Oh, wow. Uh, that is just wow. These are clothes? The photo is upside down. This <laughs> is. She looks it's like a, a, it's a disco ball. ball. <laughs> D did they have to roll her down the runway? <laughs> I can't Maybe they just hung her from the ceiling. Yeah. This. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh my! I faint. <laughs> Maybe she gave you a warning. <laughs> yeah, I knew Applejack wasn't gonna like anything oh they put out. Gosh. I didn't mean to make her faint. Probably doesn't take much. It happens all the time. Besides, <laughs> they look a bit like a disco ball. Although, Miss Pomel is making the point that no matter what we wear, it is a costume of some kind or another. I have no idea what you're talking about. And that's okay. Let's go make the So what, what costume is this? Today you will work on your designs, and we judges will offer our guidance and advice as you prepare for tomorrow's big show. Oh no. <laughs> that, that is, that is not good. Okay. Lily Lace, tell us about your inspiration. You guys, this morning on my way here, I heard a bird singing. Oh, that voice. The most beautiful song I'd ever heard. And I wanted to capture not so much the bird's song exactly, but more like how the wind carried the bird's song. Powerful, yet at the same time, fragile. Sounds like totally awesome. Uh, huh? Next up, meet Starstreak. <laughs> nice name. I'm not interested in what's already been done. Only what will exist in the future. Mmm. Tomorrow's fashion belongs to those who hear it coming. I am Inky Rose. Wait. That you have a very focused mission. Wow, so many so many OCs are starting to have bits of them showing up in the actual show. What do you think? Well, it's a lot of black. It's kind of depressing. How's this? Makes a world of difference. Maybe to fashion experts like you. But oh boy. ponies like me, it's still black. Oh. And I'm uh, not sure how you wear singing birds or the future. Uh oh. I don't think they liked what I had to say. Oh well, that's why you're here. Fashion needs a healthy dose of practicality now and then. Yeah, this is this is going to go bad because she's not gonna like anything. Are you putting holes in the clothes? On purpose? It's to create a distressed look. More like an old and tattered look. When a pony's old clothes get holes in them, 
they don't want to go to the store to buy new clothes with holes in them. Okay, yes, not a very practical choice. Fashionable, but not practical. Well, this, this is why you brought her. Simply stunning. Sure, it looks pretty, but that's a lot of fabric. With the way it drags behind, it'll be covered in dirt in no time. Thank goodness I'm here. Otherwise, we'd have had holes in clothes and dirty dresses. Uh, I... Good lord, that poor girl. <laughs> but of course, no look is complete without mane and makeup. So, uh, when are you gonna do her mane? <coughs> oh, oh. Done. You know Ouch! Uh, I think we've given the designers enough guidance for today. Let's, uh, let them finish their work. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all do for the big show tomorrow. I literally just Joy of honesty. Hey, Apple Cat, uh, on your way home? How'd the first day of the contest go? <laughs> Great! At first, I didn't think I'd be much help, but thank goodness I signed off. You're, you're a lot of help. I'd be doing all kinds of crazy fashion-y things. Oh, man. Yes, of course. Some of her thoughts are tough to swallow, but you know, it almost seems like what it, what it would actually sound like if you tried to play the guitar with hooves. You seem a little stressed. Want to try? Music is very relaxing. Sure. Much better. Okay, Rarity is really moving up in my list of, of favorites. Good morning, every pony. Time for final adjustments before the show. If buttons could convey sadness, you've done it. To me, they convey waking up an hour early just to button them all. And that's if you could reach most of them. Wow, there were a lot of buttons on there. Is this better? <laughs> there you go. Now when it's cold, you just slide it on you and you're set. Like a poncho. Um, poncho? Okay, if, if you don't know what a poncho is, then you don't belong in this business. You need to know what every clothing type is. Oh, you used hoof cross double over stitches. Oh, they're... Perfect. Who cares if it's stitched perfectly? You don't need feathers on your head. Oh, oh, yes. oh. My little sister tried to add some flair to her hat, and guess what it got her? An extra hour of work picking apples off the ground. A good start, but it needs more. Well, it will have more in the future. Uh, no. Yes! I'd go with this one. No, this one! <laughs> Here we go. It's funny. What? Oh, no. Uh, it's just, I mean, those belts look the same. Well, that one completely changes the look. This one compliments it. You're kidding, right? Is everything okay? They're having a heated debate about those two belts. Why are you asking Rarity? Yes, She's the one that wanted, choices. you know, a brooch that was the exact same as a brooch she already had. Same belt. Oh, this is so silly. Fashion is ridiculous. Oh. oh. You don't mean that. I now, now, Applejack. It may not be your thing, but you are, you know, kind of insulting their passion. I'm going to be insulted. I'm, I'm kind of with him on on this. You know, I understand it's not your thing, but you're insulting their lifestyle. Boring utilitarian clothes. I want to create elegance and drama, and this is literally the opposite of. I mean. I don't know. There, there is a lot of drama here. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? I was just being honest. <laughs> What do they do? Oh. Everything. 
building the stage. She needs a guitar again. It is the opposite of okay. The judges have quit. The designers have dropped out. The show is cancelled. Oh, my good intentions squashed. <laughs> and it's all Applejack's fault. Why are you mad at me? I was just saying what I thought. And isn't that why you wanted me to be a judge? For my honesty? Of course. But you yeah. said fashion is ridiculous. But it's my opinion, and I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come with me. Uh, is it... Oh, <laughs> Rarity! Oh, what a nice surprise! Hello, Hi, whoever you are. Strawberry sunrise. Oh, Where's okay. Applejack. I was wondering if you could tell her how you feel about apples. Don't like them. What? Why? They're crunchy. They're sweet. They're delicious. <laughs> they're not strawberries. You're right. Apples are better than uh -oh. strawberries. Only if by better you mean better at being disgusting. Huh? You uh, oh better boy. apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, but you actually bite into those tasteless mealy worm filled things. Oh. What? Red is not your color. It's just strawberries' honest opinion. What's wrong with that? Well, that's fine if she doesn't like them, but if she knew how hard we worked to make our apples perfect, and maybe she wouldn't be so mean about it. There you go. Oh, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel so good. Admittedly, Applejack does tend to catch on to things a little no, bit it late. Did not at all. <sighs> I am so sorry, Rarity. I got so carried away with being honest, I guess I didn't think about how I was making others feel. Mm -hmm. I'm a real rotten apple. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, don't cry. That means Keep lot. it on the inside. That's what you do. You should realize it before you ruin the fashion show. Time for you to fix things. I need to get some of these. It's the only way to travel. What are you doing? Canterlot is that Showing that she's stronger yeah. than all the ponies that were lifting you before. Yet. I don't know. Run. <laughs> not gonna outrun her. There you go. Listen, y'all. I thought I was just being honest when I said all those things. But some pony helped me realize I was actually being hurtful. So for that, I apologize. So, you don't think fashion is ridiculous? Ugh. Well, I, uh, I still don't understand it, but I appreciate how much it means to y'all and how there much you hard go. work you put into it. I also know this contest is important to Rarity. So, what do you say? Well, I'd hate to have come all this way here and not see what you can do. If they're judging, we're in. Under one condition, literally. Anything. Untie us? <laughs> no deal! Okay, put it back up. Show's back on, fellas! Oh. <laughs> there you go. That could be an outfit. Uh -uh. Go with the darkest one. I'd like the green personally, but go with the dark one. Uh -huh. I think that's the first smile we've seen out of her this episode. <laughs> it's always funny seeing her in those. She literally did it all by herself. I don't think that word means what you think it means. But I did bust my tail because I know how much this That was a Princess Bride you. reference intentionally or just kind of came off that way? Thank you, Applejack. We start now! We go! First up, Lily Lace! Oh, 
Is Vinyl doing the music? better than Lily Lace, so I vote for her. It means so much to me. I literally can't even. <laughs> Simplicity that is was the keynote quite of the facial elements. expression that there. That is why I vote for Inky Rose. You've made me so happy. <laughs> Fashion <laughs> is the art. I, photo finish, vote for Star Trek. Wonderful to hear, darling. Who'd have thought? Well, Applejack. <laughs> Lily Lace's clothes go here, Inky Roses will go there, and Star Streaks there. Sorry, but I couldn't pick just one. Oh, so it's a tie. They're great, and in my opinion, they all deserve to win. And I agree. I told you your perspective would be beneficial. Is uh, this one of your new designs, Rarity? It's a. Uh, the form is reminiscent of uh I mean it conjures up images of uh well uh I mean Oh that no I totally messed that one up. It's ghastly, horrid, absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh thank goodness. <laughs> Cause in my honest opinion, it's awful. <laughs> This wasn't bad. Not one of my favorite Applejack episodes. Um, not as funny as some of the earlier ones this season, so I'm a little disappointed that first one with my favorite wasn't as good as I would have hoped. I will admit my favorite part is still Rarity playing that guitar. I thought that was awesome. That is easily my favorite part of this episode. Um, it was it was fun. It had sure laughs, but not really one of my favorites. Uh, well, hopefully Applejack will get another one later this season, and it'll be better than this one. But that's all I've got on this one, so until next time.